Step one in this piece of art is to take our masking tape and place it randomly throughout our canvas. You can do any pattern you want. I'm just gonna do a random geometric pattern for this one. So I'm going to place the masking tape wherever I like. If you are gonna paint around the edges of your canvas, I do suggest you putting the tape around the edges if you wanna do that to keep the pattern similar on the side. Just place it wherever you like. If you'd like to do some sort of design, you can. You could also try and put your initials on it in some way. Depending on the size of canvas you've chosen to do, um, you can put as little or as much tape as you want. Just keep in mind though that wherever we do have the tape will be white. Um, so if you do want more color on it, the less uh, amount of tape is the best. But again, it's your piece of art, so whatever you feel is best. I'm going to put about two more pieces here, do three, you guys keep putting as much as you want on or as little as you want on. I love doing these. It's hard to see, but I almost have all of mine filled up to my liking. I'm gonna put one more like this. This one didn't really go over the edge, so what we can do if that ever happens, you know, instead of wasting tape, just take a little bit of an extra piece of tape. I know it's hard to see because I'm doing white on white, but you can easily just put it up and extend it to the side. That is if we're painting the edges. If not, don't worry about it. So now that we have all of our masking tape on here, we can start with painting. If you do want to make sure that the canvas stays white and that the paint doesn't bleed through, um, the best thing to do is to paint white around the masking tape, which I will show you now. If not, you can skip this step and move on to just painting whichever colors you like. So we're just going to quickly go around the edges of where the masking tape is. That way, if it bleeds through, it's the white that bleeds through. So it's not as noticeable. Again, you don't have to do this step. Uh, especially if you have good painter's tape that you know won't bleed through and you know you've pressed it down a lot, then you definitely don't have to worry about that. Just make sure you get each every single one of them. Again, if not, it will just bleed through. It doesn't have to be a thick layer, you just want a little bit. I'm excited to see how all of yours is going to turn out and what colors you guys have chosen. Just a little bit more to go here. Take your time, there's no rush in doing this. You want to make sure you get it as covered as possible. Make sure you see the tape being covered as well as the canvas. Don't forget, if you are painting the sides of it, to paint the sides white. You want to make sure none of that bleeds through.
All right, so we're almost done. And then now we're gonna let this dry and then we're gonna move on to the next step. Now that our canvas is all dry, we can start painting. So if you haven't already, choose some of your colors. I've chosen three. I feel like it's best to work in threes um, with this type of thing. I chose purple, pink, and turquoise just because it's spring and summer's around the corner. Um, feel free to choose any colors you like. If you have certain decor in your apartment that you wanna do that with, that's totally fine. Make sure our brush is all clean and now we just start painting. If you would like, you can do each different section a different color, um, but what I'm going to do is just start putting my paint in different colors wherever and see how it blends together. So I'm gonna start with purple. It's in here, here. And grab some pink, mix it all in, make it a pinky purple teal in there as well. Just paint wherever. Paint over the masking tape as well, that way you make sure everything gets covered. I love these colors, it's so bright for summer and spring. Ooh, that was nice. It was all mixed together and on the brush. Didn't have to do anything. I like the bright teal that makes the purple stand out a little bit more. Contrast between it's nice. Keep painting until it's all covered. Don't forget if you are painting the edges to paint those. And don't take, uh, don't pay too much attention to where exactly you're doing the colors because after you have some paint on here, it's hard to tell where the tape begins and ends. So it's kind of a fun surprise to see how it turns out in the end when you don't really pay attention to it. We're gonna start painting on the sides here a bit. Ooh, we got like a nice bluey color. Almost done. Some pink over there. Blended nice with the purple. I'm excited to see how yours is looking what colors you guys chose. Do some more purple over here. Maybe add some pink in there. Again, don't put too much thought into it. Just paint over top of it. I'm excited to see the final outcome of this. If you guys are enjoying this video, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. We'll definitely have more of these videos coming out in the near future. If you have any suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'm very interested in seeing which kind of art you guys are interested in creating together. Um, and then we also can be available for Zoom calls if you're interested. You can email me in the email that I have provided in the description there and we can hook something up. That way we can see each other face to face and have more of an interaction together. Almost done here. If you want to, you can leave a little bit of white showing, it's up to you. I'm deciding just to color all over top of it. 
um, but again it's your piece of art uh, these videos are just a guideline uh, I encourage you guys to do whatever you want to do because art is subjective and it's our own creative juices flowing through us so please just use these as a guideline and do what you feel is right for you okay so we're almost done here here we go oh maybe a little bit more on the edges here okay so now i am going to let this dry and then we will come back to it in a few minutes i'll see you soon Welcome back. Now that our painting is completely dry, we can start peeling off the tape. It may be a little hard to see at first, but as long as we did go over the edges, then it will be a little bit easier. You want to slowly peel it off. Trying to take off the top layers and work backwards from the way we put it on. As you can see, mine did bleed through a little bit, but that looks like it is on top of tape, so it could just be because I didn't paint too much over there. Oh, hit a traffic stop. Let's see, let's go this way. Look how cool that looks so far. pieces for me. I hope you're loving the way yours has turned out so far. See how it doesn't really matter which way you paint it because it's all white on the inside. This is our last piece. There we go. And there we have it, our final product. Thank you so much for joining me guys today. I hope you enjoyed making this craft as much as I did. Make sure you like and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can check out future videos with us. Again, you feel free to write any suggestions in the comment section below and I will definitely look into hosting those videos for the future. Thank you again for watching guys. Hope you have a fabulous day. We'll see you soon.